The city of Albuquerque has 22 fueling stations around town for its vehicles, and we've learned city workers could easily be helping themselves to some of that gas. Almost 500 gallons of gas are unaccounted for at one of those stations alone, and that was just in one month. Here's News 13's Amanda Goodman. Jessica, the problems were brought to light during an audit, but tonight the city is still in the dark about whether or not employees or others have been stealing gas. It's a pretty simple system. City workers who drive city vehicles can fill up at stations like this one. Each car has an assigned credit card. Each employee has an assigned PIN number to make that card work. The system seemed to be working until a recent internal audit turned up some questionable practices. Things like PIN numbers still active for people who no longer work for the city, more than 2,000 of them. And the audit found some of those PIN numbers were still being used to get gas. We don't know for sure if that's an issue where these employees came back and used that PIN number to get gas, or if it's someone else using the PIN number, sharing a PIN number with a, an employee that's still with the city. And the Office of Internal Audit says there's no real way to tell either because the record keeping is so shoddy. It's the same scenario at the Puerto del Sol golf course gas station, where 464 gallons of gas have gone unaccounted for. Do you know what happened to the gas? Uh, no, we don't. And I don't think Parks does. This is the first ever audit of fuel usage and security at these stations, which are run by the city's fleet management division. Were you concerned that there was any sort of misuse happening when this audit came out? Anytime you don't have good, solid records, there's always a concern about whether or not we have malfeasance going on. Tonight, though, the city says it's already taken steps to fix the record keeping issues, including deactivating old PIN numbers and limiting how many times each gas card can be used for a fill up. Now, tonight, it's still not clear what happened to that 464 gallons of gas, and the city says it may never know. The audit doesn't say how much gasoline, if any, was missing from other stations. Just back to you. Okay, Amanda, the city says records are still kept by hand at some fueling stations, which will change soon. In the meantime, the pumps at those stations are turned off at night to keep thieves away.